Welcome to Mathematics with Ms. Grade 12, DBE 2022, Final Paper 2, Question 5. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Question 5, 5.1. So this is the start of trigonometry. So 5.1, given that the square root of 13 sine x plus 3 equals 0, where x is defined between 90 degrees and 270. So that means it is the second and the third quadrants. Please take note of that. And of course, again, without using a calculator, take note of that. Determine the values of sine of 360 plus x, 10 of x, and the cos of 180 plus x. And of course, immediately if they say no calculator, you must think now, most probably, sketches. 5.2. Determine the value of the following expression, again, without using a calculator. Now, in this case, a sketch is not going to work. However, you must think of your trigonometric identities. That should help you to simplify this particular one. Cos of 90 plus theta divided by the sine of theta minus 180 plus 3 sine of negative theta. 5.3, determine the general solution of the following equation. You'll notice it's already being factorized for you, so that helps a lot. Cos of x plus 2 sine x times 3 sine 2x minus 1 equals to 0. 5.4, given the identity cos of x plus y times the cos of x minus y equals to y minus sine squared x minus sine squared y. Now remember, if you have to prove an identity, you need to prove the left-hand side equals to the right-hand side. And then 5.42, hence, again, remember what the word hence means? It means end now. In other words, use the previous. Determine the value of 1 minus sine squared 45 minus sine squared of 15, Again, without using a calculator. 5.5, consider the trigonometric expression, 16x times the cos cube of x minus 8 sine x cos x. And you must rewrite the expression as a single trig ratio. And 5.52, for which value of x in the interval 90, 0 to 90 degrees will 16 sine x cos cube x minus 8 sine x cos x have its minimum value, take note, 0 to 90 is in the first quadrant. Right, so let's look, let's look at 5.1. So remember, given is square root of 13 sine x plus 3 equals to 0. And of course, x is defined between 90 and 270 degrees. So that means it is the second and the third quadrant. Now, without using a calculator, if you look at 5.11, Sine of 360 plus x. Now, this should immediately remind you of the, the, the identity. 360 plus x, remember, that is uh, in the back into the first quadrant. Remember, one revolution is 360 plus x. x is always an acute angle. So, it takes you back into the first quadrant. So, therefore, it is the same as the sine of x. 5.12, the 10 of x. Now, there's a problem. So how can we, I find 10 of x? So now I need to use a sketch. So what I do is I make sine x the subject of the formula. So I take the 3 over, becomes negative 3, and then I divide by the square root of 13. Now you need to ask yourself, where are the IDs uh, identified? 90 to 70. So it's a tick in the second and a tick in the third quadrant. And then where is sine negative? in the third quadrant. So where you see the double tick, that is where your sketch is going to appear. So remember, how is sine defined? As opposite over hypotenuse. So there you are, negative 3 over square root 13. And of course, negative 2 can be determined by using Pythagoras, as shown in the memo on your right-hand side. Then you can read off the 10 of x straight from the sketch. It is opposite over adjacent, so it's negative 3 over negative 2, which is positive 3 over 2. Then if you look at 5.1.3, cos of 180 plus x, again, we remember this identity. So 180 plus x 
takes you into the third quadrant. And of course, in the third quadrant, cosine is negative. So therefore, minus the cos of x. 5.2, determine the value of the following expression, again, without using a calculator. So if you look at cos of 90 plus theta, it should remind you of co-functions. So remember, co-functions, cosine will change to sine. So don't forget that. And of course, cosine of 90 plus theta will be minus the sine of theta, if you remember your cost rule. And then sine of theta minus 180 doesn't look familiar to us. We need to switch the theta and the 180. And in doing that, I also need to take out a negative. So therefore, it becomes positive 180 minus theta. And then 3 sine, sine of a negative angle is, of course, minus the sine of a positive angle. So therefore the plus 3 becomes a minus 3. Then the 180, then the sine of minus 180 minus theta is again a sine of a negative angle, which is minus the sine of a positive angle. So therefore 180 minus theta, which is in the second quadrant, where sine is positive. So therefore it keeps the negative sine theta. Right. And then in the next step, of course, we can now simplify by at the, uh, the denominator, we can collect the like terms by adding them. And then, of course, sine theta and sine theta cancels. And the negative into a negative is a positive. So, therefore, the answer is positive a quarter. Right, 5.3. Determine the general solution of the following equation. Bracket cos x plus 2 sine x into... 3 sine 2x minus 1. So already it's been factorized for you. So what you do is you let each bracket be equal to 0. So let's first do the first bracket. So cos x plus 2 sine x equals to 0. Then what we can do here is we can divide both sides by cos. Then you get cos x divided by cos x, which is 1, which you can take over becomes minus 1. And then of course sine x divided by cos gives you 10x. And that gives you 10x equals to negative a half. Because you must still divide by the 2 of the 2 sine x, remember? So once you have a half, then on your calculator, shift 10. Take note of a positive a half. Don't put in a negative half. And then you'll get the reference angle, which is 26,565. Now you need to ask yourself, in which quadrants is 10 negative? The 10 is negative in the second quadrant. So therefore, 180 minus 26,565 will give you 153,43 plus k times 180. And of course, k is the element of the, of the integers. Or you can, of course, also link it with k times 360. And where else is 10 negative? Also in the, according to the, 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 the rule, the cost rule, it's also negative in the fourth quadrant. So it is 360. Minus 26,565, which gives you 333,43 plus k times 3, 16. We do the second bracket, 3 sine 2x minus 1 equals 0. Then, of course, you divide by 3. And then again, on the calculator, shift sign of a third. Please use the, the, the fractional key on the calculator. It's more accurate. And you get the reference angle, 19,471. Now, remember, 2x is equal to 19,471. Please don't forget that. So it is so so it is 19,471. So 2x equals to 19,471 plus k times 360. Then if you divide by 2, you'll get 9,74 plus k times 180. Then where else is sign positive in the second quadrant? So again you're gonna say 2x equals to 180, right? Minus the 19,471 plus k times 360, and then again, divide by 2, and you get 80,26 plus k times 118. Of course, in all the cases, k is an element of the integers. Right, 5.4, given the identity cos of x plus y times the cos of x minus y equals to 1 minus sine squared x minus sine squared y. Now, if you have to prove the identity, you must prove the left-hand side equals to the right-hand side. Now, if you have a close look at the left-hand side, you, will, you should recognize compound angles. So you expand each one according to the identity on compound angles. Please consult your formula sheet. Then, next step is you recognize this in algebra as sum and difference. If you could not, then just multiply like we normally do in algebra. Right? Then you will notice that 
cos squared x comes from uh, sine squared plus cos squared equals to 1. Do you remember that identity? So therefore, cos squared is the same as 1 minus sine squared. Right? And then multiply those two brackets to get rid of, of the brackets. Then collect your like terms and you end up with 1 minus sine squared x minus sine squared y, which is the same as the right hand side. Right then, 5.42, hence determine the value of 1 minus sine squared 45 minus sine squared 15. Now, if you compare that question to the right hand side of 5.4, you will notice that they, they are the same. In other words, x is actually 45 degrees and y is 15. So therefore, we're going to use that fact. So that the right hand side and the left hand side are exactly the same. So therefore, we're going to uh, replace that 1 minus sine squared 45 minus sine squared 15 with cos of 45 plus 15 because they are compound angles and cos of 45 minus 15 because we've, we've managed to prove that in 5.41. Then once you've done that, then you, of course you use your reduction formula. So cos of 45 plus 15 is a cos of 60. 45 minus 15 is 30. Then you can use your calculator or your sketches to find the answer is square root 3 over 4. Remember they say no calculator. Please do not give an answer in decimal form. 5.5. Consider the trick expression. 16 sine x cos cube x minus 8 sine x cos x. Rewrite this as a single trick ratio. And immediately you recognize there's a lot of algebra again involved here. So if you look at the two terms, there's a common factor, 8 sine x cos x. If there's a common factor, you're left with 2 cos squared x minus 1, which of course is a double angle for cos of 2x. Then multiply sine 2x with cos 2x and you get 2 sine 4x. Or you can look at the alternate approach. 5.5.2, for which value of x in the interval 0 to 90, well, 16 sine x cos cube x minus 8 sine x cos x have its minimum value. Now, we've just managed to prove that that is the same as 2 sine of 4x. So, therefore, the minimum at x will be 67,5 degrees. This is uh, Mathematics with Amps, Ahmed Suleiman. Please give me a huge like and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.